Excuse me. of Sri Lanka, Excellencies, Honorable Ministers, Members of Parliament, and former President Maitri Pala Sirisena, and ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> I am pleased to, the, to, to be present here today to represent the government of Sri Lanka on the occasion of the 75th anniversary of founding of the People's Republic of China. On behalf of His Excellency, President Andhra Kumar Adisanayaka, and the Government of Sri Lanka, I wish to extend my sincere best wishes on this auspicious occasion. I am myself pleased to be here after my appointment yesterday as the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Since the establishment of the People's Republic of China on 1st October 1949, the Chinese nation has embarked on a broad path to achieve great transformation and prosperity. The significant achievements of China in the last 75 years are the result of the continuous hard work and innovation of the Chinese people. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, traditional links between our two countries dating back to the 4th century AD are characterized by early people level engagements, religious ties and scholarship. These exchanges led the foundation of our modern relations as well, including strong trade and economic ties. Thriving trade ex exchanges with Sri Lanka along the maritime Silk Route have continued through the ages till contemporary times. In the modern era, the historic Rubber Rice Pact of 1952 is a reflection of the strength of our long-standing friendship. Sri Lanka was among the first countries to recognize the People's Republic of China in 1949. Later, formal diplomatic relations were established in 1957 Sri Lanka and China have for 70, 67 years nurtured a strong and secure relationship built on trust and above all, mutual respect which has tested the visitors of time. Allow me to reiterate at this point that Sri Lanka's One China policy is firmly embedded in our foreign policy both bilaterally and at 
multilateral fora. We have witnessed in recent times an increasing number of highest level engagements between our two countries, which have contributed to further enhancing our bilateral engagements. In October last year, then President of Sri Lanka attended the third Belt and Road Forum in Beijing, during which he had in-depth exchange of views with President Xi Jinping, then Prime Minister, also visited China this year. The 13th Sri Lanka-China diplomatic consultations concluded successfully in Beijing in June this year. Co-chaired by Secretary of Foreign Affairs of Sri Lanka and Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs of China. A number of memoranda of understanding were also signed in areas focusing on trade, market access, media, education, academic collaboration, and humanitarian assistance. Let me also take this opportunity to express our appreciation for the assistance provided during the economic crisis and to recall the many landmark projects that have been successfully completed under the Belt and Road Initiative. Sri Lanka greatly appreciates the continuous support extended by the Chinese financial institutions in the ongoing debt restructuring process as we continue to deal with the challenges, challenges of economic recovery, Sri Lanka seeks China solidarity, support and continued partnership for the economic recovery process. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Chinese tourist arrivals have continued to increase nearly 77,000 Chinese tourists in the first six months this year. We are pleased to note that China is among the seventh countries recognized under the ongoing free visa regime implemented by Sri Lanka, enhancing the cooperation in the field of aviation will mutually benefit our countries to further promote tourism. December will mark 46 years since former chairman of the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference, Deng Xiaoping, delivered his historic speech, Emancipate the Mind Seeking Truth Forum, Truth From, Facts and Unite as One to Face the Future, which set the stage for decades of reforms that has brought China to where it is today. The second largest economy in the world, understanding the path China has traveled their course of economic transformation is an important reflection to the rest of the world. It has been recorded that over the past four decades that China has lifted nearly 800 million people out of poverty, accounting for more than 75% of global poverty reduction in the same period. Sri Lanka, as a long-standing friend, admires these remarkable achievements of China and succeeding governments of Sri Lanka have been inspired by the people-oriented principle of China, including in the impressive economic and technological progress of the country in recent years. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I would be failing in my duty, if I were not to acknowledge the much-valued contribution of His Excellency Xi Cheng Hong, Ambassador of the People's Republic of China in Sri Lanka, in strengthening and further, furthering bilateral ties between our two countries. I am confident that the bonds of friendship and cooperation between our two countries will further flourish and strengthen in the years ahead. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to now invite you to join me in a toast. <laughs>